Hello, right, out in the greenhouse, um, it's yeah, it's quite early Sunday morning and um, I'm quite surprised, it's quite warm out here, uh, I'm really squinting because the sun's low in the sky, it's right behind the camera, and yeah, it's pretty bright, uh, but yeah, we're now into November and still got some pods going, um, plants are starting to suffer now because nighttime temperatures are dropping, but yeah, they're not doing too bad considering. Uh, I think better than last year. I'm pretty sure this time last year everything pretty much died off. So that's cool. Um, today we've got another little awesome plant. It's a little baby. It's probably my smallest plant. Uh, I got it very late on in the season from Terry down in Falmouth. And yeah, it's the monkey face. Now, I haven't really got any chilies with the true monkey face look to them, but if you do a, a Google search, an image search for monkey face chili, you'll see what I mean. Some of the pods have got um, indents in them which kind of resemble a monkey's face. So awesome looking variety. Um, I believe you can get them in red and yellow. This is obviously the yellow version. And yeah, it's supposed to be nice, sweet, hot, fruity, um, almost like a, a tropical mango sort of taste, apparently. And um, yeah. Awesome. What I have noticed is that once they ripen, they start getting soft quite quickly. Um, so, yeah, I was going to wait for a mate of mine, Colin, he might have seen to try one of these with me, but I got a feeling pods are going to have turned. So, we've got a nice big one here that actually feels the firmest out of them all. So, I'm going to pick that and give it a crack. Yeah, this one's not, it's not got the tree monkey face, but you can see they kind of get a bit dimpled around here. And, um, yeah. Right. It actually smells. It smells quite fruity. Okay, the stalk's not going to come off. So, no, it's not. So I'm just going to have to eat it down to the stalk. So, the monkey face. Quite a few seeds up in there. Mm. Taste is delicious. It's kind of really sweet. I can see. I can see why people say it's got like a mango flavour. Yeah, it's delicious. It's just like a. It's like a tropical fruit, but mm. it's getting even sweeter towards the top, and it's getting a bit hotter as well. seeds. <coughs> I took a fair bit of eating actually. It's quite quite thick fleshed, really juicy, sweet. It's a real spread around solid mouth burn, producing heaps of drool already. It's not really building that much. It was a kind of a initial instant strong heat. Um, it's just kind of stayed there. In fact, it is building a little bit, um, but not so much in the mouth. It's kind of building in heat now, 
in and around my chest area. It's delicious. It really is tasty. It's one of the nicest tasting pods I've had for a while. And to be honest, it's hot enough for everyday kind of use. Trying to liken the burn. Um, it's not quite up there with like a habanero. It's it's possibly bordering on like a a weak sort of Scotch bonnet. Um, maybe that sort of heat. It's quite a stingy burn. Um, it's attacking the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue a little bit. But mainly around the edges of the mouth. Making my nose run a bit. I definitely feel it right down, right down into the chest now. Hasn't quite hit the stomach yet. Since I haven't had breakfast or anything yet, I think the stomach's going to let me know when it arrives. Really ought to stop doing these tests in the morning, even before I've had breakfast, but oh well. I looked at the plant this morning and I noticed that, like I said, the pods were going a little bit soft in a couple of places, so yeah, I thought it was time to, time to test it and harvest some really. Oh, excuse me, it just hit the stomach. That would make an excellent, excellent chilli for like a salsa. Uh, you can make a real um, sweet fruity salsa with that um, or even a savoury one but it will add a touch of sweetness amazing that would be um, yeah just a real nice heat level uh, I wouldn't say you would want to cook it too much you probably lose some of the heat through cooking but yeah one awesome tasty tasty pot the plant's definitely going to be overwintered because um, it's only tiny so yeah, I've been keeping keeping it inside for the last couple of weeks or so. And um, yeah, look after it over winter, keep it warm. And hopefully next year it should take off. And yeah, it should end up with quite a few. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, only five pods on that one, but they're decent sized pods. But the size of the plant, I'm quite impressed. All right, the heat's kind of, dying away now. Still a bit sore on around the top of my mouth. But yeah, awesome. Right, that was the monkey face chili. So yeah, like I said, Google it and you can see what I mean about the the monkey face photos. They look really cool. So yeah, excellent. Thanks for watching. Catch you again soon. <laughs>